What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 31 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through documentation in API Gateway. So to get started or to help anyone understand and use your API, you need to document that API, correct? So hence, uh, API Gateway let you add and update the documentation for individual API entities as an integral part of the API development process. So generally API lets you document specific API entities like resource, request, method response, message parameters, and many more in parts, right? And that document part is represented by document part resource. So when I say document part resource, let me show you that. So navigate to any API you have. And once you are there, click on documentation from the left panel. Right. So here, right now it says no documentation parts found. Click the create documentation part button to add a new one. Right. So you can click over here and say create documentation part. Right. And it will let you create the entity specific documentation. Right. So for example, you want to create the documentation or add a description for API or for authorizer model resource. And these are the supported parameters for which you can create the entity specific documentation, right? So this is basically the individual documentation part and the whole API gateway documentation is generally the collection of these document parts as one, right? So that's basically documentation part. So to summarize documentation part, we can say that a documentation part resource is a JSON object that stores the documentation content applicable to an individual entity or the individual API entity, right? So let's move back to resources. Now here, let's say we want to document this API. Let me go ahead and create a resource. I will say create resource. I will say something, uh, upload or maybe get data, right? And I will say create resource. And then I will create a method within that resource. So click on action, say create method. I will simply say get data or sorry, get method and click on this tick mark. I will quickly integrate the Lambda function. So we are not going to invoke this API. I'm just creating this for the purpose of this tutorial. So we'll bind this Lambda function and save this. Okay. Now let's say we want to document this API or this setup of the API. So one thing I just talked about is the documentation part. So what we can do is we can go to documentation and say create documentation part. And within type, I can say create a documentation part for resource, right? And it will ask me the path and I can mention slash get data, right? So this is the path for uh, this resource. Or alternatively, I could say create this for a method and it will have certain other things like uh, the method. So in this case, it's the get method, right? So this is how uh, you can create the documentation part. So basically documentation part comprises two things that are location and content. So this predefined thing that you see is basically uh, falls within the location part and this text editor part falls under the content, right? So basically content is represented by properties. So you can go ahead and add multiple properties like description, or for example, you want to add tags and it should be in JSON form, right? And you can say a B or something like this, right? So the above part is basically the location and the below part is represented by the content and basically it's properties, right? So generally location, property will help to identify the associated API entity, right? So if we look at this setup, then it will help us identify that this is the method and the path is get data. Or for example, uh, uh, we are saying resource, then we can say path is get data, right? So this is location and the below is basically the properties. So this is one of the way that uh, we can go ahead and document our API, right? So this is basically a bit lengthy way we can say or it could be complex, a little bit complex, not that complex, right? So we can save this, uh, 
and we can say create documentation part so we created the documentation for resource now we can say create a documentation part for the method within that resource right and we can define a path over here we can say get data and we can select the method that is get and we can put in some sort of properties over here right but uh, let me show you the other way let me cancel this and delete this one go to resources so while we are working with the api uh, you will be noticing this sort of icon everywhere right this book icon so this basically let you document your api setup right so as soon as i clicked on this uh, book icon it showing me the location right so this is basically type resource and the path is the root resource and then we have the properties below and we can modify this properties right so let me close this so to get started uh, we will click on action and we will say edit api documentation so this is basically the uh, main part of uh, the documentation so here we can define something like this uh, we can say for example info and within info we can define another dictionary and here we can say description everything will be in json form right description and we can say uh, document api basically right and within that we can say or we can define some sort of contact information contact colon and it can be another dictionary within that and within contact we can define certain attributes i can say name colon the name that i want to define followed by the email and i can say chiragar 83 at com, right and so on so once you are done with this modification you can click on save so once again i want to highlight that this is the location the type falls under location and this is our content right basically the properties and i can say save oops we have mistaken the email id it should be 83 and save this so this is saved right now if you go ahead and click on documentation from the left panel then you will have that documentation part recorded over here right so either you can create the documentation part from here or you can go ahead and click on that book icon and record all the documentation right so we will follow the other way so again go back to resources and this is basically very simple right so you can document or you can add description while you create certain things right so now we are on get data and i can click on action and i can say edit resource documentation or i can simply go ahead and click on this book icon right so i will say edit resource documentation so again here as you can see uh, we have a type as resource and path as the resource path that is get data and i can add a description over here saying get data resource or something like this right and i can say save so this is saved and close this now we can similarly add the documentation or update the documentation for the method so click on that method and you will see the book icon on the top right corner so you can click on that you can say view documentation and here again we have type path and method right so method is basically applicable because uh, we are creating or providing the documentation for the method now here you can again add a description we can say get method and apart from that let's say i want to add some tags over here and within a list i can say get data or get method something like this right and i can say save it says it should be a valid json i forgot comma over here and i can say save and it's saved right so close this
now similarly uh, we can go to method request for example uh, we want to provide documentation for url query string parameter so i can go ahead and say add query string parameter let's say type as a query string parameter and i can click on this tick mark and as soon as i will click on tick mark i will get this option that is book icon so i can say view documentation and i can edit this right so i will say query string parameter type right and apart from that we will also have the name property within the location as a type right so this basically represent the query string that we want the client or the end user to pass right and we can say save this and we can close this so similarly you can add it for http request headers you can add a header and you will get that uh, book icon and you can modify the documentation for the same similarly for request body and so on right so wherever you see this book icon it's basically for the documentation it's basically for providing the documentation part and it will basically reflect all the documentation part under documentation option so as you can see as and when we modified and updated the documentation it's reflecting over here right so this basically the very first one is basically for the type api the very root and then uh, we have the method and then we have the resource and finally the query parameter so now similarly if we are modifying or adding the models so let's click on models from the left panel and as you can see here we have also the book icon so you can add a documentation or provide the documentation for the models that you are adding right so at this point of time we will leave it as it is now again back to resources we will select the method so now uh, let's say we have uh, updated the documentation and now we want to publish that documentation right so as i mentioned the overall api documentation is basically the collection of the document parts so before we go ahead and uh, perform that action i also want to highlight that within method response you can click on this uh, book icon and provide some sort of documentation for the http status code so wherever you see that uh, book icon is basically for the documentation so you can go ahead and update that right so now let's move on so let's go to documentation now let's say we want to publish this documentation so here we have the option that is published documentation so i can click on that and it will ask me to select the stage right so in order to publish the documentation uh, you should have your api deployed and the stage created right so at this point of time, I don't have any state, so I can't publish this documentation. So for now, I will close this. I will go to resources and I will click on action and I will say deploy API. So I will create a new stage. I will say version one and say deploy. Now, once this is deployed, we can go back to documentation and we can say publish documentation. So here we can select stage as version one and API does provide versioning for the documentation, right? So I will say version one and you cannot reuse version one while you publish the documentation again, right? So keep that thing in mind. So it can be a numeric, you can say version one or it can be 1.1 .1 or something like this, right? And say publish. Now, as soon as you publish, it will redirect you to this uh, stages and within the export tab. So now here we have certain option that export this as Swagger or export as Swagger plus API gateway extension or export as Swagger plus Postman extension, right? So let's go with this export as Swagger. We'll click on JSON. You can also export as YAML, right? So now here uh, you will have the JSON file downloaded over here and you can also have a look uh, below, right? So here we have Swagger 2.0, info, description, document, API and the contact details that we had added, right? Then we have host, base path. So this is basically the stage variable. And finally we have path that uh, we had recorded that is slash get data, which have get method. And we had then added tags within that along with the description, right? And whatnot. Then we have this parameters that is basically the query string parameter. And we have responses 
Right, so this is the overall uh, view of the uh, documentation. So we had exported that as a Swagger or you can also export it as Open API 3. Now let's have a look at the export as Swagger plus API gateway extension. So I will say JSON. So again, as you can see here, uh, we have that. So here we have the Swagger uh, as well as the API gateway extension. So apart from that, we will have certain other option that uh, basically belongs to the API gateway, AWS API gateway, right? So here we have certain URI and pass through behavior and whatnot, right? So we have a lot more information in terms of API gateway extension. And similarly, we have Postman extension. So apart from the console, so at this point of time, uh, we had uh, provided documentation from console, uh, but apart from console, you can also document your API using REST API or using AWS CLI or via any SDK, right? So, well, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And basically this is how you can uh, document your API. So, well, uh, that's it for now. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.